travelers, if you're looking for a place to go, someplace to eat, or a lot of fun things to do, you're in the right spot. Follow us. We are on our way to New York City, where we are going to take in some sights, show you around, pick up the Youngblood concert toward the end of the day. But before we do that, we're on our way to our favorite Mexican restaurant on the border. On the border. So sit back, here we go. Welcome back fellow travelers. We are at our first stop on our trip to Alaska. We are pre-gaming in New York City for Friday night and Saturday night. And then Sunday morning, bright and early, we're gonna be heading to Seattle from Newark, New Jersey. Today, our favorite Mexican restaurant is the closest on the border to where we live. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away from Lake Wallenpawpack. And the first thing that we get, of course, is chips and Tortilla. salsa. So we got this nice spicy salsa over here. I'm gonna scoop some up. Mm hmm. Mm. Right, you're gonna try some. Oh. Mm. It's a little on the spicy side. Oh yeah. Very, very tasty. I can taste the. A lot of flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Got cilantro. Mm hmm. A little chunky of onion there. Yeah. And I just ordered a queso blanco dip. <coughs> so we're gonna eat these chips and queso blanco dip, and then we're gonna have to order our drinks and and dinner. This is the Marky Mark Margarita. It's brand new, and Marky Mark Wahlberg has his own version of tequila out there now. And look at the fancy glass. And a salted rim. I should ask for tahin on the on the rim. Should have. Right? Maybe the, maybe the next margarita I'll do that. Good idea. <laughs> but we're enjoying our drinks. Lucia got a nice diet soda. Lucia is two years sober today. I'm very proud of you, Lucia. Congratulations on your two years of sobriety. Thank you. Keep up the good work. And don't forget, it's always one day at a time. Mm -hmm. What do you got there? Well, 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 this is our queso blanco. And That's oh the queso boy. blanco. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> we got nice roasted red peppers going through that. We've got jalapeno peppers. It looks steamy and it looks spicy. There you go. Nom, nom. Don't get it on your shirt. <laughs> Give me that chip. Mm. I'm going to try some of that. That's good. Real good. You burn yourself? No. No? I can definitely taste the peppers. Mmm. Yeah. Very good. Mm hmm And um, coming up next, you're going to see the food that we've ordered. The menu for their lunch menu is very, you know, basic, but they happen to bring uh, another menu that we ordered from. Specialty menu. It was a lunch menu or not, but it's a special menu, so I can't wait to show you what we're getting. Wow, ow, ow. Can you see my face through the steam coming off of these fajitas? This is the ultimate <laughs> fajita at On the Border. Yes, it's a little pricey at $29.99, but I have carnitas over here. I have shrimp skewers. We have the sauteed roasted vegetables and chicken and carne asada steak. Instead of the rice and beans, I opted for a small salad with some jalapeno vinaigrette. We forgot to include this in our video. This was my dinner. I don't think we're gonna be going back there ever again. Why not? They were mean to you. They were very mean. 
So, as you can see in our video, we were able to record what we were able to record. Came out and said, you're not allowed to videotape in here. You're not allowed to videotape anything. And she forced me to stop my video. And delete it. And delete it. Well, guess what? As you just saw, it's not deleted. Not deleted, is it? She also harassed me the entire time that we were there. Daggers. With daggers. Daggers. Forcing me to like hurry up and get out of her establishment for some reason. But yet, they were babysitting a child while on the clock. Sitting in hidden quarters where you couldn't see them. So, sorry on the border Paramus, but this video will be sent to corporate showing them that I was simply here enjoying my two year sobriety yes, with my husband and you have no signs in your building that say I cannot tape. So that saga will be continued. So comment down below creators, has this ever happened to you? On to the next stop. All right, so we just checked into our room. Very nice little foyer, nice TV. Very nice in here. They could do better on the lighting, but that's okay. Got your coffee and your microwave and your good stuff. Got a really nice bathroom. Let's turn on some lights in here. There we go. Wow, nice big shower and tubby. And then, look at this. Woo, there's Mr. Murphy. Hi, everybody. Woo! This is, uh, this is the um, other side of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, not the skyline view, the city view. That's okay. New Jersey we don't view. need it. But we're going to be coming back here tonight. It's going to be dark anyway, so we yep. don't have to worry about that all that much. We are heading into the city now, so I have to call up some tickets on our, on our app for the phone and walk right out in front of this hotel and it will take us to Manhattan. And we are going to make our way down to Pier 17. And we're going to film, film, film till Daddy takes the camera away. That's right. All right, you guys, we've made our way down to the Pier 17 area where the concert is going to be taking place tonight. We've got Youngblood and a bunch of special guests. Just want to show you guys what this area is like. It's not like your downtown New York area. Not Seaport Museum right Ooh, there. We've been there. And there's the water. I can see a tall ship right ahead. Oh, yeah. We have a cute little playground over here. A lot of grab-and-go restaurants behind us. And we're going to give you some more filming once we get down to Pier 17 and show you how hopping this place is and how great it is to see a concert. This is our second time here. We saw Mod Sun last year. And now we're back for young blood. Are you ready for some young blood? Ready. I'm ready for some young blood. Let's go. All right, guys, we're inside almost Pier 17, but look at this. We had to show you Malibu Barbie Cafe. Reservations required, of course. The music has happened. People are outside. Murphy's ready to party. Pretty, huh? All right, guys, we're gonna keep making our way down to the pier. Welcome back fellow travelers. We are at stop number two for uh, a little mid-afternoon snack and some drinks. We are across the highway from the uh, Pier 17 concert venue. There are restaurants over there. There are places to eat and drink, but we have Grey Goose Vodka Reserve seating on the rooftop at the concert hall. So we're waiting for the sun to get a little bit lower in the sky before we head over there. But in the meantime, we just got some Korean barbecue chicken wings for happy hour. And don't you wish you had your mouth around these right now? Ta -da! Let's eat. No Brussels sprouts for me tonight, so I'm going to indulge on my yummy, yummy French fries. Truffle fries, to be exact. Well, we have made it to the pier. We are ready for the concert. Pier 17. Look behind you, Brooklyn Bridge. Beautiful venue. This is so cool. There's the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, all the concert goers are ready to head in and have a good time, and we're going to follow suit. Are you ready to party? Ready to party. Let's party. And here we are on the rooftop. 
the seed board. Pier 17. Pier 17. Look at all the people lining up for Young Blood, the world tour. This is going to be good. Last time we weren't here this early, but last time it was filled up a lot more. The sun is still out. They open the doors like five minutes, literally five minutes. And look ago. at all the people already. And there's 500 people here already. Exactly. All right. We are going to the Grey Goose. Let's go. Well, what a day, what a day, what a day. Started on the road at 11 o'clock. Got to New York City about two. When we got here in New York City, we made a pit stop before we were getting here at on the border in Paramus, New Jersey, where we was treated very rudely by the management staff. We had sent an email and no reply, so I'm not expecting to get one because it's probably not even going to go to their corporate. It's probably going to go to her. So we made it into the city. And we stopped off at the tuck room. Right down at Pier 17. Had some eats. Took in the concert. And the opening acts were fantastic. Youngblood dominated the stage like no tomorrow. So after the concert we had stopped for pizza. It was raining which is why we didn't record any footage. So we just got back in the room now and that's it for day one of the pregame. We'll see y'all tomorrow.